This afternoon in St. John's, Newfoundland, a young man named Terry Fox started running. Many people have run or walked across Canada, but Fox hopes to be the first to do it with an artificial leg. I got a lot of positive attitude and I think I can do it. He calls his running style the Foxtrot. After 25 days in Newfoundland, Terry had raised $25,000. That song was commissioned by the Cancer Society, which had its own doubts when he started off. Now, as he pounds out the kilometers, the money pours in, most of it in cash. He's got all the guts in the world, and I wish him all the luck in the world, too, and I hope he makes it. What do you think of Terry Fox? I think he's great. He'll make it. He'll make it. The run to City Hall, down University Avenue, took Terry by hundreds of people. It was an emotional moment for many of them. I knew I was going to make 20 miles. I, when people were out there like that, it was incredible today. We've seen him surrounded by crowds of supporters, but the crowds go home. Terry keeps running. I'm stubborn and competitive, and I, I don't know, I, I really enjoy life. I enjoy challenges. I don't like people feeling sorry for me. I don't like pity, and I wanted to show these other people what I could do. The National with Norton Nash. Good evening. A story of incredible courage came to an end today. At a news conference. Yesterday I was running, and I had noticed a little bit of hardness in breathing. And I, had to, I decided I had to go see the doctor, and it was discovered then that the cancer had spread. And now I've got cancer in my lungs. And uh... from one end of the country to the other there has been a spontaneous outpouring of support for Terry Fox and cancer research. Rarely, if ever, have so many people been so deeply moved by one individual. If it comes to the point where I'm told I'm gonna die of cancer, I haven't got a chance, I've gotta be able to face that and... Good evening. Terry Fox died this morning in a British Columbia hospital, one month before his 23rd birthday. Well, he was very brave. Boy, I must say, and I feel very, very sad about it. Don't cry, love. It's all right. Don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. I think he touched the hearts of a lot of Canadians, and they all really look up to him. More than our sympathy, we would like you to express as well our profound gratitude for the gift which Terry gave to all of us, the gift of his own boundless courage and hope. Canadians everywhere walked and jogged and ran to raise money for the fight against cancer. He accomplished more in a few short months than most of us can hope for in a lifetime.